Welcome back to Effective Health and Wellness. Today, I want us to look at five healthy habits to maintain our general well-being and our general health. What are these habits? One of them is to keep our insulin uh, normal, to make sure our insulin is normal. How do we keep our insulin normal? By making sure that we aim for low-carb diets and fattier proteins instead of leaner proteins. A lot of people are walking around with high insulin and they don't know it until something happens and they say, oh, and they'll get checked out and they'll see that their blood sugar is very high. And their blood sugar may have been very high for not many years even before they are diagnosed with diabetes. And by that time, some of the organs are already affected. That's number one. Keep your insulin low by aiming for low carbohydrate diet and fattier proteins instead of leaner proteins. Number two, fasting. Fast whenever you can. Intermittent fasting, full day fasting, for adults, that can actually be done and it helps a lot if we can fast and leave our inside to rest a little bit. The saying that breakfast is the main meal of the day, oh, you must have your breakfast. There have been so many debates about this and I'm a strong believer that this is not uh, true because most of the time I don't have anything to eat until midday. So leaving your butt, your inside to fast a little bit is very good. It helps you to regulate your insulin. This idea of eating small meals five or six times a day, like some people say, I don't think is um, helpful to anyone because you need that time for your body not to have anything so that the, the insulin will be able to work better. The insulin in your body will be able to regularize better if you are, if you are fasting and you're not constantly eating. Yeah, that's number two. The first one is keeping your insulin normal and the next one is fasting, intermittent fasting or one meal a day or all day water fast or any other kind of fast you can manage. It's always good to aim for fasting. It helps a great deal. Number three is to aim to be healthy and not losing weight. People say, oh, I'm, a, on, I'm on a diet. I want to lose one stone. I want to lose a, a 10 kg. Aim for healthy eating and healthy living. And in the process, if weight loss occurs, that's great. I've said it before. You may be very slim, but you're not healthy. You may have a little bit of flesh, <laughs> like some of us, and you're healthier than somebody who is lean, uh, leaner than yourself. So being too healthy, uh, too lean or too fat or in the middle, just be the comfortable weight you want to be. Just be good, feel good in the weight you, you are carrying. But the most important thing to aim for is healthy eating, is healthy living. Watch what you do. Make sure that it's healthy enough. Number four, don't aim for low-fat products. You go to shops, you see low-fat yogurt, low-fat uh, uh, low fat, low fat, uh, various things, low, even meat. They will appear in the diaspora, they package the meat and they say 5% fat or 0% fat and things like that. Those ones are not good for you. So anything low-fat, anything that has low fat on the label, run away from that. Because I know every people have in their head, oh, I don't want to uh, be fat. So that's why they are all going for low fat. Low fat products are actually not good for us. If you look at the level of low fat products and look at the level for the full fat products, you see that the sugar content in the low fat products are more. And that is what is causing problem with our insulin. So please watch the label. Read the labels when you get to the shops and see what they contain before you start buying but low fat product is a no no they are not good for our general health the last one i want to mention today number five is exercise and back on a daily exercise i have a fitbit watch which i have on a daily basis and i make sure that my target step for the day is ten thousand. but most of the times i 
go over the 10,000 depending on the activity I have for the day. So make sure you track your record. If you don't like walking, you can do jogging, you can do running, you can do skipping, you can do anything you want to do. But by, all, by any means, please just keep moving on a day-to-day -day basis. Instead of taking the bus or the train or, the, or transport to very near places, just walk. Have a comfortable shoe and walk instead. Let us embark on walking. Let us do some exercise. Lack of exercise is destroying many lives. It's, in fact, our children these days, most of them don't exercise as well. In those days, children will run around and get in some exercise. Now, as soon as they come back from school, most children will just go on their gadget or go in front of the TV. Let us encourage our children as well to exercise. And when we exercise, we can take them along with us. That's how to encourage them as well. So exercise is very important. This is just a short video. I just want us to consider these five things. Let me recap quickly. Keep your insulin normal. Try to fast when you can. Aim for being healthy and not weight loss. And once you're healthy, weight loss will fall in. If you need to lose weight, that will automatically happen. Number four, run away from low-fat products. Number five, exercise as much as you can. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you again in my next one. Goodbye and God bless.